So the name of our business is the Barefooted Potter, um, and we started about a year ago. Um, we're a mother-daughter team. We work out of a garage studio, and um, I work out of my utility room in my house. Um, and so we started for fun, um, and then we ended up with so many pieces sitting around our houses that we decided to start selling at shows and to friends and family to kind of get rid of some of the stuff that piled up. As a potter, I think one of the most important things um, when you're doing pottery is to never stop improving. I think it's very important to continue to grow, to continue to learn. Um, so both my mom and I are always taking classes, we're looking online, um, trying new techniques, trying to imitate things that we're seeing, which I think is part of growing as an artist and growing in your business is making sure that you're continuing to have new and fresh ideas. So we definitely have um, intentions of trying new things and growing and, and hopefully, you know, building up from where we are and increasing our skill set. So the name Barefooted Potter came from both of us not liking shoes. Um, on any given day, we're either barefoot or if it's not socially acceptable to be barefoot, we're both wearing flip-flops. Um, do we work together on projects? Yeah, um, well, not on the same project. We'll both be working together at the same time. Um, I tend to throw at my house and bring my stuff over here to be fired since she has the kiln. And then a lot of the time we'll be glazing together at the same time. Yeah, do I feel like pottery's brought us together? Absolutely. So the best part of it is um, she didn't want to do this at all. Um, so I have always wanted to learn how to do pottery since I was little. So I was working part time a couple years ago and needed something to fill my time because I was bored. Um, and I found a class at Peninsula Fine Arts Center. And so I said, hey mom, I wanna take this class. And she said, well, I don't really want to. And I was like, come on, come do it with me. You know, you'll have fun. And she's like, no, I don't, I don't want to, but whatever. She says it's because I'm an only child and I'm spoiled, so she went with me. Um, but so we went and we took the first class and she really liked it. And so the first class we took was a four week class and then we took another four week class. Well, by the time the second four week class was over, she had bought a used kiln and a used wheel and a bunch of molds from people on Craigslist and Facebook and was starting to set up her little studio. And I really am grateful. Um, it's, it's also given her a really great hobby since she's retired. So I'm very grateful for pottery. It's definitely brought us closer together and it's given both of us a way to relax and brought a lot of meaning into both of our lives. Um, I'm, I'm really grateful that we decided to start doing it. When did we realize we could make a business? Um, so last year, um, there was a school carnival at the school that my mom's best friend is the principal at. My mom used to teach there before she retired. Um, and they were doing a carnival and I think she'd kind of been like tossing the idea of about selling stuff because like I said, so many things kind of accumulate because you know, it's not like you're making something and then throwing it away. You end up with all these finished pieces sitting around. And so we went to the, the carnival. Um, she didn't think that she was gonna sell very much stuff. Um, she wasn't really sure where to price anything. I had been to different shows and seen different potters and their work and where they had price points and did a little research so we worked together we priced things so it's kind of evolved and kind of adapted over the past year or so um, we're starting to do more shows and um, starting to sell things to people when they request it you know friends and stuff online um, so it's it's kind of just developing and, and growing more and more. Only recently did we start having um, more of like a social media presence and, and adapting the name and kind of putting a title on it and, and making it a real full-blown business. Um, I've gotten her to kind of make us some shirts with our names on it. I'm trying to work on branding. So we're really kind of on the ground level of getting this more from a hobby with a little bit of sales to actually trying to make this a profitable business. Um, as far as having a vision for our business, I definitely would like to increase it. I'd like to be doing um, maybe 15 or 20 shows a year. I don't want it to be so much of a business that it takes the joy out of it and that we're only producing pieces for shows. 
Um, so I definitely want to develop it. Right now I'm working really hard on branding and kind of developing a presence and, and getting our name out there so that we kind of get a following. So we know that when we go to a show, um, we know we have people that are interested in what we buy because they've bought our previous pieces and they're coming out and kind of just building return business and, and just growing to where it's profitable but not taking the joy out of it. Uh, so joy is the biggest reason why we're doing what we're doing. It's not something that we got into and we said, hey, I want to make a bunch of money. Let me see if I can do it with pottery. It's definitely not a get rich quick scheme. Um, it's something for fun. It's something for relaxation. It gives us something to bond over. And as long as we're happy, then we'll keep going. If there becomes a day where we're not happy, where we're not enjoying it, then there's no need to continue and, and make it miserable. It's kind of that old saying, you know, if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. So obviously it would be fantastic to have a hobby that we love that, you know, maybe one day was a full-blown business and allowed us to not have to work. I don't know that we'll ever get to that place. Um, that would definitely be, it would definitely be cool. But as long as we're happy doing it.